Hi everyone, Corey Barker here. Now in this video, we are going to take a look at adding some finishing touches to the tutorial from the July-August issue of Photoshop User Magazine, where I did this uh, down and dirty trick uh, on getting together this kind of cool collage and taking a simple um, photograph, you know, whether it's your, your son's, you know, Little League team or something like that, you can take it and really kind of create a cool vintage poster in just a few minutes. Now I wanted to add the lastly the text and, a, and another flare element on here just to kind of give it that finishing touch and add, kind of finish off that whole Hollywood look. So I've gone ahead and set some text at the very top here and uh, this kind of little tagline for the movie, there's always baseball. So I'm actually going to go ahead and use that exact same text uh, in a sense. I'm just going to make a duplicate of that layer. I'm just going to hold down the option key and the shift key and just drag down and you can see the smart guides are kicking in here in the new Photoshop and it's allowing me to keep it aligned up there. So I'm just going to drop that right down there. And then right down here, I'm just going to go ahead and enter the name of this fictitious movie, which is Pastime. So we'll just go ahead and increase that up and just set that right there. Now, what I want to do is I'm just going to lower this just a little bit so the top of the letters are right at the base of his feet there, pretty much right there. Now, to make this a little bit brighter, I'm actually going to go ahead and, um, well, notice I've got it in overlay mode, which is what the layer was, uh, the original layer was in because it's blending with the background. And I'm going to leave it in um, overlay mode because it's kind of blending into the background, allowing the grass and texture and stuff to show through. But I'm also going to make a duplicate of it because it's going to brighten up that text, but it's a little too much. And since it's on its own layer, I'm just going to drop the opacity down to about 50%. because I just wanted it to be a little bit brighter, but still allow a good amount of that texture to show through. Now I want to add a flare element, which is another common design element in most uh, posters these days. And I've got a set of brushes, uh, different flare brushes that I use. I've actually got a small collection of here that I've made for different uses. And I've gotten to use my favorites. In fact, the second to the last one is one of my favorite ones. It's got a nice... Um, subtle look to it. I'm actually going to put this on a new layer underneath that gradient um, that gradient map adjustment layer we have right over here. So just underneath that I'm going to go down here and make sure my foreground color is set to white and right at the in the middle of that T at the top I'm just going to go ahead and tap once and you'll notice it puts that flare in there and gives me a nice finishing effect right there on that text and it's all on its own layer and blending nicely. So just a couple of little elements there to kind of go ahead and finish off the overall image. It's not necessary to put the text in it, but if you wanted to really kind of add that kind of Hollywood finish to it and put your own title on it, you know, I just picked the, the title and the words here, but if you wanted to get, make it more specific and even put the person's name on there, you could have a lot of fun doing that and just taking these images um, out right out of your camera that you probably would, you know, normally not do anything with and just go ahead and make something very, very cool for your kids or whatever and uh, hang their poster on their wall or something like that. So a lot of fun things to do. Um, hope you uh, experiment with it, have fun with it, and we'll see you guys next time.